Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. I've just got home, it's seven o'clock, and I just wanted to, I suppose, relay a couple of thoughts that I was having as I'm driving home. First and foremost, obviously it's getting darker, it's getting chillier at night, and as I start to look around my local area, it becomes really apparent to me that the residential street lighting is really, really poor, and it means that those routes that I'm doing on a more frequent basis are just not safe enough. Unless I'm getting out there when it's kind of dusk, I'm just not feeling that comfortable that my safety is going to be um, going to be secure really. I'm, I'm just very uneasy about committing to the run and that's the other thing. I could go out and do something really really light but when I want to really push myself, am I going to be okay with the idea that I don't really know what's beneath me? I don't think so. Uh, I can't sacrifice um, and put myself in a position where I could be injured for running. It's just not something I'm prepared to do. I'm very committed to my goal, but equally, if I cause myself damage, that goal doesn't exist anymore. And so as I'm driving home, I can't quite believe it. There's too many runners out there, and I'm really concerned about it, that are running in all black with no clothing at all, that is even reflective, not even a reflective bar on the shoe, nothing at all. Unless you are driving and they are effectively in the in the headlight beam, you can't see them. These are people that are running, not just on the path, by the way, they're running along the side of the road. Some of them running towards oncoming traffic, which I suppose is best practice, but then sure, do that, when you're visible, don't do that in the evening during rush hour traffic. You're just putting yourself in the most dangerous situation. Anyway, I'm about to get changed, about to head out there. I'm gonna do something. Uh, if anything, it's just, just to explore and see what it's really like. My preferred run at the moment is that great loop that I've been doing. That's really, really good. It doesn't involve crossing roads. Um, there shouldn't be too much in the way of foot traffic. So I should be able to just comfortably run. But like I say, being aware of what's beneath me, it just puts me on edge and I don't feel I don't feel like it's going to be a very natural run. I feel like it's going to be a little bit tentative, which is not necessarily what I want, but I'm going to get out there nevertheless. Now, for my uh, vegan friends who follow the channel, a little bit of interesting information as well. I'm at school today, which is where I work, so I'm at work today, and people do an interesting thing. When they find out that you're vegan, for whatever reason, and it's absolutely fine with me, they drop it into conversations. So even if it's just joking, you know, we're talking about I don't know, animals eating grass or this and the other, oh, you eat grass, you're vegan, la -de 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 -da. I embrace that. I honestly don't have any real issue with it. If people want to enter a discussion by doing that, that's totally cool. And anyway, I find out today that another two members of staff are also vegan. And uh, one of the ladies who works there, her brother works in sustainability. He is vegan. Uh, I mentioned in a previous video that the lady that I'm uh, working closely with, her daughter is raw vegan. So it's just quite fascinating to me that four years ago I was in a, uh, in a school, there was a big school, and not one person was even vegetarian. We move on four years and it's become more of a norm and if people aren't themselves, they know people who are. And I just find that really, really interesting. And I was able to engage in a bit of a discussion. I, we were crossing paths, so it wasn't too long. I hopefully will have a chance to converse again. But just when people start to say, oh, actually, my brother does this, my sister does that, my daughter does this, they're looking well, they're looking radiant, they've got a real positive message, a real positive aura, all of those things, it starts to just via osmosis become, become the norm, become more of a cultural, a culturally acceptable thing. And I say that because I think too many people previously were just unaware of what it meant and the connotations and associations with that word made it quite unfamiliar to people and it made it uncomfortable, I think, for people. Uh, funnily enough, I'd been speaking to a parent and they'd also been told that I was vegan and we were speaking for about 25 minutes and he said to me, oh, that's unusual for a vegan. Normally it's the first thing people, this, normally it's the first thing they say. And I thought, well, that's interesting that you've got that connection that when somebody is vegan, the first thing they do is tell you they're vegan. And uh, like I mentioned before, to each their own. 
you do you. Uh, for me, I found it exceptionally beneficial. And if people want to engage in a conversation, I am open to it. But at the same time, I'm not forcing the point because I think sometimes if you force too early on, it starts to create a barrier and people aren't necessarily willing to listen because you come across as a preacher. I've got a lot of information to share if people are willing to listen and I will always engage in discussion with somebody. So I just found it fascinating that you know, I'm becoming more aware that there are far greater numbers of people that are exploring veganism and like I say, it works for me and I think I would encourage anybody who is interested to just try it. There's many um, support networks online. There is, I think it's a Challenge 22. Is it called that? I'm not entirely sure. I'm really sorry. I'll put a link below. Basically, just see what it's like for you. I appreciate people got families. Everybody's got a different social circumstance. It's not always as simple as transition for you. But hey, anybody is capable of doing anything they put their mind to. I use myself as an example. Not so long ago, I had never run more than 100 metres. In the next six months, I will be embarking on a marathon. 100 metres, 20 plus miles. Anything is possible. I haven't done it yet, I appreciate that. But the point is, it's about change. It's about trying something new, trying something different. Seeing it works for you. Some people don't always have the best response and reaction to these things. But you don't know until you try. Anyway, enough of me chatting. I'm going to get on the road. See you shortly. Okay, we're out. Taking it easy. A few street lights, but nothing too spectacular. Just been a bit careful. Oh, there we go. Street light. Having gone. I'm starting to sense a bit of fatigue setting in. It's been a long week for me, I know that. I know that I've not been getting as much sleep as I would normally and I've worked really hard on that so I'm just going to start to draw this run to a close but um, yeah really pleased so far with how it's gone visibility is helped dramatically by the head torch and uh, yeah my clothing is definitely visible under light which is really good to see